Hi, Jeannie here, and today I'm going to show you how to clean up a Divi landing page. So I have this version started, and there's a lot of things I need to get rid of or fill in. I have an opt-in form from my BirdSend autoresponder or email marketing system right here, and I don't think this really matches this page, so I may want to change it up. I have some text here. My existing landing page is made with the Optimize Press Live Editor. So I'm just going to see if I can improve this a little bit. So let's go over. We're over here. Let's start with the opt in form. So let's go to forms. In BirdSend, I clicked on email and forms, and I'm going to go to the form that I created for this, get your membership site ready fast. And right now, it is just a blank form. And let's make first name required, the submit button, looks okay. Let's update this. And what I might try to do, so this is using with a third party. And so let's go to integration. There's raw HTML with no design and then there's raw HTML with design. And this is what's on the page, but it doesn't match the Divi design. So I'm going to copy this to the clipboard and let's go back over to the page and I have at the very bottom of this part of the the layout itself this form so I'm going to edit this page And let's see if I can easily find that section of the layout or if I need to label it. So this is the one that doesn't look very good because it's just the very basic form. So here's a button, image, gallery, email opt-in. Okay, so let's go to the gear icon. There's a title, body, footer, fields, design, and advanced. Let's go to email account. So I don't know if Divi will integrate with BirdSend, so it's not necessarily listed right here. I do have a free ConvertKit account. I do have a free MailChimp account. So This may not work here. I'm just going to label that so it's easy to find. And let's go back up to my code module. So when things don't quite integrate, what you can do is use, use the code. So this is the code that I've got right here. This is the freebie code. Let's look at text. What I can do is make this look, look slightly better in BirdSend and then start over. So what I'm going to do, let's just go back to email and forms. I have another freebie that is embedded on another WordPress website with Divi. So it looks like this. I used a BirdSend design form in content 
and that gave me this design. So let's go ahead and try to make a bird send design form in content. So let's go back to forms. We're going to go back to get your membership site ready fast. We're going to change the type and it's okay to change the type. We're going to go to in content and let's choose the design. Select this one. Get your membership site ready fast. And let's look at the design. Let's look at this one too. This one is a little bit more plain. So let me just take a look at this. The headline is at, at top on that one. Let's go back over here. I don't know if I like this one better than the other one. And let's take a look. We may want to change this button. So it looks like we do have the option to choose a color. So let's let's just hit update and leave that like this. And then we're going to go to integration. There's a BirdSend hosted page and the BirdSend pixel. I already have the WordPress plugin. And there's a little bit of documentation about the BirdSend widget. So there's WordPress shortcode and there's HTML snippet code. So I'm going to try that. Let's copy that. I'm going to hit update one more time. Go back over to the page and I'm going to delete all of this and just use the snippet code and we'll see if it's visible. Let's save that and go to update. And I'm just going to view this page in a new tab. So here it's a little bit less obtrusive. And so I like that better. I'm going to now take a look at this old page. So we can copy over the wording in the headline. So let's go back to form setup and let's click into the text. I'm going to copy this into notepad to strip any weird formatting. So let's let's do that. and update that. Let's go over here. We're going to strip the formatting of that second sentence. Go back over to bird send. Let's grab in, you could do a featured image, body, Let's just put body. Let's paste in the text right there. And we're going to grab the last sentence right here. Put it into notepad. And add it right here. So All right, I'm going to make this bold just so it's a little bit easier to read. I'm 
and I'm going to shorten that. All right, so let's update that. And let's go back and refresh this. I don't know if it will automatically update or if we need to repaste the code. It did automatically update, so that's nice. So I do like that. Let's take a look at if there are any buttons here. So I'm going to choose with my color picker plugin. See if I can hover over this kind of grayish color. That's white. I don't know if I can select some. So that looks like it's white. We could find the color elsewhere. So maybe this is the same color. And I don't think it's really selecting the area that I want. Let's scroll down and take a look at this. So we do have a black button with white text. So I can go up and easily change this. So let's go back to bird send. We're going to use black. And I'm just going to look up hex code for black. It is right here. And I can adjust this later, but so choose the color. I'm going to put it right there. And I don't know if it's saved. So it doesn't look like it's saved. Let's try. I don't know if it will let me put in the exact hex code. So maybe not. Maybe it only has these these colors to choose from. So I could always go with the darkest the darkest color or here we go. It'll let us use it that way. So let's go to update. And let's go back over and refresh this. So here it is. It looks kind of plain without that background. So I might want to do a little bit more formatting there, but that looks a lot better than what with what I started with. So I'm going to go and keep on editing this until I'm happy with the look. And that's all there is to it. Have a great day.